Good morning, welcome back to Breakfast Television. If seeing those thousands of runners in the Manitoba Marathon has inspired you to get up off the couch, we've got the help for you when it comes to getting started and doing it right. We brought in Lynn Glow Glowak joining us from uh, Runner's Room to talk about where we get started. Where do we start? If we are at uh, zero, how do we get up to 10? Basically, get off the couch, start walking. That if first step is hard though. It is, just getting out the door and maybe having a goal what do I want to do next year? Maybe if I want to be involved in the marathon next year, what do I have to do now? Is that a realistic goal for those of us who are mostly sedentary? Can I say this time next year I'm in the Manitoba Marathon? Definitely. It doesn't necessarily have to be the full marathon. You can say I want to do a 10K walk and that's just a, a small goal. Maybe in two years time you might say, okay, I want to do a half marathon. Maybe your ultimate goal might be to do a marathon, but it might not be for next year. Maybe one year is not the most realistic goal setting. Exactly. And that's a big part of what you guys do when it comes to your learn to run sessions at Running Room. Yes. How do those work? It's a gradual build up. So the first day you'd be starting off walking ten, two minutes, running one minute, repeating that. So for 20 minutes, that's what you're doing. Most so of us could handle that. Definitely. Yeah. People think it's really a, t a tough thing, but it's uh, very attainable. Okay. So we're not, we're not walking in, buying a new pair of shoes and hitting 26 clicks. Not at all. Not at all. But we, we may need to buy new shoes. If I am that per average person who's just wanting to get back into running or getting into running for the first time, what do I need when it comes to my footwear? Uh, proper footwear. So what we do is we assess people's feet, watch them walk, see what kind of uh, arches they have. So there's different categories of shoes depending on the kind of support. Okay. Um, if you just have a normal arch, don't need anything really yeah. for support, this would just give you a very flexible shoe. Okay. If you need a little bit more arch support, so if your foot tends to collapse inwards, it's got some support on the inside of the shoe just so you're not going to be collapsing and, and causing some strain there. Okay. And, and then the last here? shoe would be a very stiff shoe. So it's, if you look at the bottom, it's very straight, so it's not going to allow your foot to collapse inwards. And that just gives you that stability so that you're not going to have aches and pains when you're running. So it's not one right shoe for the right person. It's or not one right shoe for everybody. It's the right shoe for the right person. That's right. And uh, now when it comes to uh, when it comes to um, knowing how my feet work, you're going to watch me walk around the store in my socks. Yes, definitely. To know yeah. which way I move and which way I go. That's okay. Great. When it comes to reading, how can an education help me when it comes to running? Well, the books that John Stanton developed, uh, who owns the running room, they are a guide to where to start if you have injuries, you know, how to stretch, and you know, it's just a basic guideline for your running and walking. So it, it would seem to those of us who, are, who don't run, it would seem as simply left and then right and then repeat. Mm -hmm. What do most of us forget or what do most of us not understand when it comes to starting running? I think that you're going to have some little aches and pains when you first start, but how to manage that, stretching, resting when you need it, don't overdo it because then you're going to get discouraged and you maybe don't want to do it anymore if it's not fun. Right. It is supposed to be fun when Definitely. it all comes down yeah. to it. Someone's uh, still inspired, still wants to be part of it even though they've seen Courtney's toenail fall off. Um, when's the next time they can get in to learn to run? The next Learn to Run starts in July. We have a clinic leading up to the Run for the Cure in October. So they're 10 weeks long. Yep. So you can check on our website. So if Run for the Cure is your goal, then maybe the right place to start would be a drop by the running room. For all the information, you'll find that website and those links on breakfasttelevision.ca. If you want to take a break, there's still plenty to come today on BT.